In Jammu and Kashmir, restrictions have been completely lifted in five districts of Jammu and limited to the night in five districts. Similar local relaxations was done in nine districts of Kashmir. Over 5,000 calls were made in one day in Srinagar via public points for phone connectivity. Army Chief General Bipin Rawat reiterates that Army is always prepared to deal with any eventuality. Further says that Army wants to share the bon homie with people that was there earlier. The Supreme Court again turns down demands to extend the deadline for the NRC final draft. The final draft to be published on 31st of August 2019. Big relief for Amrapali home buyers. The Supreme Court asks the Noida and Greater Noida Authority to start registration to give flats to the flat owners. External Affairs Minister J. S. J. Shankar conveys to his Chinese counterpart that action on Article 370 is purely an internal matter of India and has no implication on uh, India's external boundaries, LAC with China and LOC with Pakistan. Relief and rescue operations in full swing in flood-affected areas of Kerala, Karnataka and Gujarat. Situation improves in Maharashtra's flood hit Kulapur and Sangli districts with receding of water levels of two rivers. And international news, uh, operations resume at Hong Kong airport a day after protests shut down the major travel hub. Good afternoon. Headlines at half past 12. I'm Anil Thomas. Now for the stories in detail. Jammu and Kashmir administration has said it is committed to maintain peace and public order in the state and police are working in this direction. In a statement, the administration said restrictions were completely lifted in five districts of Jammu. Similar local relaxations was done in nine districts of Kashmir. Restrictions on connectivity continue as a result of the security requirements. However, people are being helped to contact their relatives and children outside the street through widespread deployment of helplines at convenient locations. Thousands of calls are being made uh, every day from these designated places. Over 300 public points for phone connectivity are functional across the Kashmir division. According to police, uh, according to Inspector General of Police Kashmir Range, SP Pani, there has been a malicious campaign on social media and the contacts uh, of uh, these were strongly refuted by the police. Army Chief Bipin Rawat has reiterated that Army is always prepared to deal with any eventuality. Speaking to newspersons, he said that precautionary deployment is always done and it should not be something to be concerned about. We are always ready, we are always ready, we are 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 ready. On the situation in the Wali, after the revoking of Article 370, the Army Chief said that Army wants to share the bon homie with people that was there earlier. He expressed hope that Jawans meet uh, people without guns if everything goes well. We will live with people, सत्तर और अस्सी के दशक में था वो आप वहाँ पे जानकारी से जाइए वहाँ पता करिए किस तरह का हमारा मेल मिलाप था वहाँ के आवाम के साथ हम उस समय भी वहाँ पे तैनात थे बड़े अच्छी तरह से हमारी आवाम के साथ मेल मिलाप हमारा रहता था और उस तरह का मेल मिलाप दोबारा अगर होना शुरू हो गया तो बहुत अच्छा रहेगा उस समय हम बगैर बंदूक के मिलते थे अगर हम दोबारा बगैर बंदूक के मिल सकते हैं अगर सब सब चीज़ वहाँ सही तरीके से रहा तो हम यही चाहते हैं Considering the Citizenship Act and rules, the Supreme Court in its interim order today said that the security aspects of the data involving NRC will get the same kind as of Aadhaar. The bench headed by the Chief Justice of India, Ranjan Gogoi, said that only hard copies of lists of inclusions and exclusions to be provided at district offices. It added that NRC needs to be updated according to the law laid down in Section 66A. 
In a big relief for Amrapali home buyers, the Supreme Court uh, has asked the Noida and Greater Noida Authority to start registration uh, to help the delivery of flats to the respective owners. The court has also warned the officials that those responsible for causing delay in the process will be put behind bars. ने नोएडा और ग्रेट नोएडा ऑथोरिटी को बड़ी स्ट्रांगली कहा सीधे साधे शब्दों में कहा कहें तो डांट लगाई कि आप एग्रीमेंट्स का क्या कर रहे हैं जो होम बायर के साथ एग्रीमेंट्स होने हैं जो 10 से ग्यारह हजार लोग वहां रह रहे हैं उनका एग्रीमेंट के बारे में अभी क्या प्रोग्रेस हुआ है नोएडा और ग्रेट नोएडा ऑथोरिटी की तरफ से कहा गया कि उन्होंने कुछ स्टेप्स लिए हैं और हो सकता है कि तुरंत जितनी जल्दी हो कुछ हफ्तों में जो लोग रह रहे हैं उनकी असुविधा दूर हो जाएगी उनके एग्रीमेंट रजिस्ट्रेशन वगैरह पूरे हो जाएंगे Well, with the rains relenting after battering the southern states over the past few days, rescue and relief works are on in full swing in flood-ravaged districts of Kerala and Karnataka. In Kerala, authorities are scorching landslide hit uh, uh, Kavalpara and Putumula in Malappuram and Vayana districts. The worst hit had to trace over 50 people who are missing since August 8. Over 88 people have lost their lives in rain related incidents across Kerala so far while over 2.5 lakh people are taking shelter in various relief camps across the state. Meanwhile in Vayanad, the, the Kerala Chief Minister Pinari Vijayan today visited the Mepadi relief camp. In Karnataka, the death toll was 48 till last evening, while 12 people are still missing. Chief Minister B.S. Yadurappa, who is touring the flood-hit areas of Dakshina Kannada and Mysuru district, expressed hope that the situation in the flood-hit parts will be back to normal in four to six days, as there has been a let-up in the rains. The flood situation in western Maharashtra has improved. Flood waters receded in Kolhapur and Sangli districts. The administration of both the districts are now focusing on providing essential supplies to the people affected by the rain fury. The administration have started uh, assessing the losses to provide monetary assistance accordingly. In the wake of the ongoing flood crisis, the Indian Air Force, as the has launched a large-scale operation to help the flood-affected people in Gujarat, Karnataka, Kerala and Maharashtra. A large number of aerial missions are being launched to ensure relief material reaches even the most inaccessible areas and maximum number of people are brought to safety. It has also established hub centers to in affected states to create seamless air bridges for rescue teams and to provide people with relief materials. The Indian Air Force was involved in the biggest rescue operation this monsoon season in Gujarat. The IAF rescued people stuck in floodwaters in the Kutch district of Gujarat. Along with the local authorities, the Indian Air Force joined forces with the Gujarat Police and the National Disaster Response Force as the NDRF teams to rescue, people, to rescue over 300 people. The massive rescue operations took place on Sunday. The Indian Air Force has rescued nearly 125 people stranded on a road washed away by floods due to heavy rainfall in Kutch district. Those rescued include women and children, even infants. Information and Broadcasting Minister Prakash Javdega today dedicated Watan, a new patriotic music video by Durdarshan to the nation. A musical video song that celebrates New India was sung by playback singer Javed Ali. Speaking on the occasion, the Information and Broadcasting Minister said that peace is prevailing in Jammu and Kashmir uh, post the end of the special status.
मुझे लगता है कांग्रेस की हताशा है निराशा है और दिशाहीन राजनीति है करण सिंह ज्योतिरादित्य मिलिंद देवरा अर्पियन सिंह और अन्य नेता जनार्दन द्विवेदी नेता अलग बोल रहे हैं चिदंबरम मणिशंकर अयर ये लोग अलग बोल रहे हैं अ पार्टी इन पेरी पेरीनियल कन्फ्यूजन सदा के लिए वो उनके स्टैंड का कोई पता नहीं लगता लेकिन हम बताना चाहते कश्मीर में आवाम को तरक्की मिलेगी और आवाम को सही में उनके अधिकार जो सत्तर साल डिनाय किए थे वो मिलेंगे और इसलिए वो खुश है और इसलिए आपने देखा लोगों ने बहुत कोशिशें की या बहुत अपेक्षा उनकी थी कि बहुत गड़बड़ होगा डिस्टरबेंस नहीं हो रहा है कल जिस तरह से बकरी ईद का पूरा लोग बाहर आए और जिस तरह से अदा किया अपना प्रेयर्स तो ये बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण है कश्मीर बहुत जल्दी नॉर्मल होगा यह हमें पता है और विश्वास है लेकिन कुछ लोग उसमें फिलिस्तीनी अगर देखेंगे कि फिलिस्तीन बनेगा वगैरह तो वो उनकी नकारात्मक सोच है और चिदम्बरम जी उसको कॉमनलाइज करना चाहते ये घटिया राजनीति है Well, let's go across live now for uh, where Minister of State for Housing and Urban Affairs Hardeep Singh Puri is holding a press conference at the launch Swachh of the Swachhata Sarvekshan 2020 in the National Media Centre in the National Capital. Solid waste, liquid waste, or CND waste. It is for the citizens. It is for the cities, and they can name their own facility. Like for the uh, GPRA, we call it Swachh Awas. any city can name its on its own they can utilize the facility so that the citizens suppose if i have to there is a cnd west lying in my house i can go through the app and pass this message to the local body the local body will be able to collect it if i have certain grievances i can do that every point the uh, solid west liquid west or the cnd west what is being collected all these things will be captured even the payment system payment system can be captured so this is going to become a completely country wide this app after this is launched this can be used by any city is a very huge facility which is going to be there now i come to swachh services 2020 in 2016 our major focus was only physical progress that is when the swachh services were launched in 2017 we focused on the output parameters that this is achieved this is achieved now 2018 we had an outcomes whether the results which were expected they are coming or not in 2019 we focus on sustainability and now in 2020 20 our focus is making it completely institutional so that we don't have to do anything this becomes a part of the uh, all the urban local bodies is institutionalizes into their working system in the first one we had mysore as the mysore city was number 1 in the next three we had indore and this is we were using this as a monitoring tool so far now it is going to be used as a governance tool next this our league which was launched by the honorable minister earlier we had quarter 1 and quarter 2 already every month the data is coming as i mentioned in when this was getting launched earlier it was the some body like qci or somebody who was doing this sarvekshan they were collecting data through the different sources now we have developed a city profile in which complete data is being captured every month and we are developing that data which can be used for all future applications so now the quarter 3 october to december uh we had the quarter 1 and 2 it was the citizens validation if you recall there were 12 questions they were being asked to the uh, phone but now in the q3 our validators are going to the assessor uh, our uh, assessors are going to go to on the ground and validate those things so total marks of the three quarters will be 6000 next in the swachh sarvekshan 2020 20 i mean if you recall slowly we are trying to make things harder and harder and making it the part of the life is making institutionalizing that so this way out of the 
6,000 marks, the first 1,500, one quarter, will be given on the league. The two quarters over, third quarter will be there. And how they have performed over the three quarters, that is also going to have 200 marks. Other things are like the citizens' feedback. I will come to detail on this. Uh, the direct observation of our assessors and on the institutionalizing that is through our uh, uh, garbage free protocol as well as the ODF protocols. Next. In Swag Service 2019, it was an annual survey. Now it is a continuous survey, quarterly survey. Earlier it was a data being captured through different sources. Now it is a common city profile at the same place continuously. Data is updated and it is in the uh, uh, it is our property. Uh, the ministry is having that data rather than somebody who was doing the assessment was doing it. It was earlier citizen centric engagements, but now it is the citizens are going to validate all this information. That is how the protocols have been done, and now it is getting institutionalized. Next quarter three. One information is important that supporting document has to be uploaded by 24th of December. I mean, this saying for the sake of all the local bodies who are available on the all the local bodies, always the states they are available through the our uh, video conference facility right now. We will give a window of 48 hours. I mean, these dates will be different for different cities. The moment the, all this data is there, they can validate, they can change the data, whatever informs require. The beauty of this whole thing is now it is getting updated one by one, layer by layer, so one cannot fudge any data. This is going to be all the data which is going to be there to the sub -service. This is going to be completely validated by themselves. Next. There are some of the nine features this Swag Service 2020 will have. One is the collection of the segregated waste and maintaining till the processing site. I mean, this is going to capture information from the source to the place where it is going to process. Complete information is going to be captured. Then the wet waste processing facilities, this has been developed. Currently, they are using only 50% of the capacity. How to make sure that this becomes 100%, bring it close to the 100%, that is going to be one of the focus of this uh, uh, service 2020. Then reuse of the treated water. How this is being used, how much it is being used, this is going to be captured there. Then the three R principles, reduce, reuse and recycle, the different questionnaires which are going to be ca capturing this information, that it will be the focus there. Curtailing the solid waste based air pollution, things like landfill, whether the landfill is being remediated or not, whether mechanical sweeping is being used or not. I mean, such information which will make sure that contribution of the solid waste to the air uh, quality. Well, live visuals are coming from the National Media Center where the launch of the Swachhata Reaction 2020 was taking place. In a little while from now, we will come to know the states that uh, states uh, or the territories that are leading in that race for Swachhata. Well, moving ahead, as Independence Day is all set to be celebrated with Raksha Bandhan this year on August 15, the markets and jewellery shops are displaying the colour of nationalism while representing the current political mood in the country. Wearing a festive look, Surat markets are attracting buyers as they are selling gold and silver rakhi showing tricolour and the map of the country. Also rakhis with the theme of the revoking of Article 370 and 35A are being sold to give a message of oneness and to praise the government for their efforts to bifurcate Jammu and Kashmir into two union territories. Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh and that will come into existence on October 31st. On a sports, uh, Aishwarya Pissai became the first Indian to claim a world title in motorsport, annexing the FIM World Cup in the women's category in Hungary. Aishwarya, who won the first round in Dubai, finished with a tally of 65 points, just four ahead of Portugal's Rita Vieira in the final overall standings for women. The 23-year-old from Bengaluru also finished second in the FIM junior category over the weekend. But that's all we have time for in this edition of English News. Thanks for watching. Namaskar.